One day, I had to go to the washroom, and as I was sitting on my porcelain throne, I decided that I would make a horror game, and if I didn't make the game, I would have to build a hole in my wall, and I have no idea how to build a hole in my wall, so I better get working on this game. Here we are inside the game engine, and the first thing I have to do is make a character, and this shouldn't be too hard since part. Yeah, that's the character. And it's perfect. Why? Well, we just need a surface, which is literally anything. Hell, the character would be a nipple if I wanted to. Anyways, now I just need to code the character, so it walks on a 2D plane. See this code? Well, I screwed up big time. You see, my big stupid brain decided to use position instead of C-frame. Now, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about, so I'll dumb it down to a toddler level. Position is world space, and C-frame is local space. With the character coded, I need a map for the player to walk around in, and I came up with a cellar, which totally isn't just taken from the Slentrina game. Oh hey look, I finished the map, and great, some of the f***ing halls aren't the same width. Hey, remember that character I coded a few minutes ago? Well, genius me, didn't add a way for the character to collide with random shit I put around the cellar. So guess what I did to fix that? Added velocity attributes to the character. Now, this solution would be good for some garbage mobile game. But for this, hell no. I'll be fixing the character a few more times in the future, but for now, let's turn this bland maze into something half decent using the built in textures. Well, doesn't this look fing hideous? I mean, the roof is almost the exact same texture. Why even bother giving it a texture in the first place? Only there is a place to find some half decent textures. Ah, the internet. I'll be taking this, and I'll grab this. Eh, maybe this might be good for something. Now with my newly obtained PBR textures, I'm going to import these into the game, and texture the place with these. And finally, I did something good in life, not like I needed the help from some random website on the internet. With the map textured, I decided it would be a good idea to sit around for one hour just to import one model, but I'm so good with time management. Anyway, I was being so unproductive that I did an entire 180 and managed to do something productive by finding this model that is kind of perfect for the antagonist. With the antagonist model imported into the game, I animated. Yes. Yes, that is the shitty animation my brain came up with. Now with the animation made, I have to code it such that it pops up and looks at you whenever you turn your player. Now that I said that sentence out loud, it doesn't sound right. Now if you look at this thing, the way it looks at you is shit. Like, look at it. It lays down when you get too close. Anyway, after tinkering around with the code for three and a half hours, I got it to properly function. So there's one massive issue, and that is there's no proper loading screen, nor is there a main menu. So I need to design one, and because I'm lazy, here's a time lapse. Well that's fun, 5 hours of GUI design shoved into a 1 minute time lapse. And they also had another 2 hours of lost footage, so that's more fun I guess. And during those 2 hours I fixed the player's movements such that it uses C-frame instead of velocity. And finally I have a half decent character, which probably I could have done better, but who really cares. With all that shit sorted, I coded these keys so the player can collect 6 of them, open the next door and escape. Which took a lot of tinkering with hitbox to make wor it work, but it works, so it's all good. Now, I found these nice PNGs that will be pointless after I do some off-camera polishing, 
but all they really did is just pop up when you hover for key. Anyway, I hid the keys and then I realized a mass fish with the furniture. And yeah, you can phase right through it. So I went through the pain of fixing all that, and then I got this indicator to tell you how many keys you need to collect, and how many keys you've collected. With all these major bug fixes and details added, my incompetent brain put the keys in places the player can't see. So I realized that mistake and fixed it in 10 minutes. Oh, I guess it wasn't that bad of a mistake after all. You know what this game needs? Some torches. So I decided to learn how to make some nice fire particles, which ended up looking like shit. Wait, this actually looks good. But it's not Red Dead 2 quality, so it's absolute garbage. You know what, that's actually some stupid logic, but whatever. After finishing that, I decided that I have to open a door to every single room the player wants to visit. But after just 3 hours of me trying to get it work, I scrapped it because it was far too complex with at least 1000 lines of some of the most advanced code. I just got bored and didn't want to f do it. Now for some reason I still haven't pasted a torch around the map, so that's what I did. Now if you look around the cellar, even with the torches, the walls are kinda blank. So I added some bloodstains around the cellar since you can't have a horror game with random bloodstains on the wall. Anyway, after looking around for some decaying corpses to place around my map, I came across this thing. And this is absolutely perfect for this game. With that done, I decided to record a black screen for two hours. I probably did nothing in those two hours, so I'm sure it's fine. But I found this. So I'm just gonna chuck this in somewhere and there we go. Now that I've thrown some decaying corpses around the cellar, I can finally add in the completion screen which only took 30 minutes and I'll add this exit text because uh, that's the exit so yeah. And they got ChatGPT to come with a name and the name it came up with is Hunted Below. What a f stupid name. It's perfect. Now it's time to open paint.net and create a title for this game. That's... That's actually the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. My eyes are in agony just looking at that. Here, pretend I never made that, and this is what I originally made. Hey look, I finished the game! Time to get my friends to play it. Okay, are you ready? I'll go medium. Oh No! <laughs> I died the first turn! No. <laughs> What the heck is the key? Okay. There it is. Key. There we go. What the heck? Why is the key there? That. Okay, I kind. I think there's a bit of a bug. I don't want to turn around because there's no YouTube. Amazing. Oh. Oh. Oh, you what? Three times in a row! What? <laughs> Three oh times God. in a row! <laughs> oh no, I think I'm lost. Ooh! I was not expecting that, that actually scared me. Hell yeah! I won! Let's go! Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Now go watch this video YouTube recommended to you.